Hello everybody and welcome to another Scotland Euro 2020 video. This is um, how I expect Scotland to put this in my prediction on how Scotland are going to start. Start having at the Euros, the, um, obviously a week's time um, on recording this. Um, so basically I'm going to predict how Scotland are going to probably start in 11 for the Euros. So we're not going into the Czech Republic game. This is how I'm going to feel. Uh, this is how I'm going to predict it guys. So as you see here... Um, Sky Sports kindly. Um, I, I looked up and they've kindly actually put this out, so it's a, it's actually a lot better for me. I'm going to do it in Norway, but it's actually a lot better. But before I do, guys, before I get it, guys, please subscribe, like. Before I do, let's get into it. Um, in goal, definitely. I mean, Gordon has shown in the Netherlands game. He shows up sometimes. It shows up. It shows up um, in games, but you know, David Marshall is is got to be there in goal. He's definitely got to be in goal. Um, this is the formations. I want actually. I want um. On Wednesday night we went for a four three three. So I'm gonna go for a four three three if I have it. There we go four three. So, um, slight defender now. Obviously, we're gonna want um on. On um Wednesday night, um Scotland did have both um. Sorry guys, I did have both Kieran Tierney and Andy Robertson on the park, um, but, oh did they? Yeah they did, um, I think Kieran Tierney was playing at right back I think, uh, if I'm sure, I am not too sure but, let me just take. Maybe not. Well, anyway, guys, it's got to be Andy Robertson at left back. I mean, he's shown at Liverpool, especially this season. I know Liverpool haven't done so well, but they got top four, which is the most important for a year for Champions League and stuff. Um, and he's shown very well. He's a, probably me mainly the best left back in England, maybe, nearly. In Scotland, anyway. Uh, uh, for Scotland. For. Was like a. Right back. If we're facing. No, what were we facing here? Facing that way, definitely right back here. I'm, t I'm I don't know. Um, it is going to be tough because you like so you got Nathan Patterson called up. He's been excellent for Rangers when he's came in. Uh, I know a lot of Rangers fans have really high like um, talked about him. He's a really good player, but for like so talking, I think Tierney will start. I really do. It's not just my opinion. I do really think Steve Clark will pick Tierney for the starting. Like he's he's starting eleven uh, probably against the the Czechs, Czech Republic. Uh, is that the first game of the Euros? I really do. Um, but we'll move on. Um, defender. Now, these are centre backs. Now, on Wednesday night, Jack Hendry played. Uh, I'll get, I'll get it up for you guys. Um, Jack Hendry and Jack Hendry. Jack Hendry, Liam Cookler, and you're talking. Um, yeah, um, Nathan Parks and obviously never travel and stuff, but uh, obviously COVID protocols and stuff like that. But I think maybe you're talking Declan Gallagher, Stephen O'Donnell are going to be in there. Um, Nathan Parks is definitely going to be a shout. Jack Hendry, he's been really a crucial player. I think he's going to be there. Um, he's been really good. Um, I think Nathan Patterson might not start the game. That, that 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 I'm I'm being fair to Rangers fans. I'm I'm not I'm not coming from a Celtic point of view. I'm just saying as a a thing that I don't think Nathan Parks will start the game. He might start one of the games, but I don't think he'll start the first game of the Euros. I don't think he will. For me, I think it was going to be Declan Galker. Um, so in midfield now, it's going to be tough. But you got your like say John McGinn, you get McGregor, Christie, Turnbull who recently called up Billy Gilmore, Champions League winner, Scott McTominay, excellent Man United this season. Um, Ryan Fraser called up John Flake, obviously what best time he got COVID and Stuart Armstrong. So the best one's got to play with John McGinn first, definitely. He's been excellent with um thingy this season. Billy Gilmore definitely. Um and Scott McTominay. Now, you could switch it out, maybe I would go for Turnbull. Um but Billy Gilmore, he's got more experience, but more than likely, you're talking I I'm I'm not being biased here, I'm talking McGregor might probably start. 
I mean, you're probably saying that because, I mean, you could play out Billy Gilmore. You could. Um, I mean, oh, it's going to be tough because he, he does say Steve Clark, he wants sleepless nights. It's going to be sleeping nice. Sleep, sleepless nights because you've got, you're talking, all these players are really good. I mean, Christy, he'd normally play on the right hand side or midfield. What am I talking right hand side? He plays midfield. Uh, Stuart Armstrong, another one. Obviously, John Fleck when he's back from COVID, maybe. Um, I'm going to go Billy Gilmore. I'm going to stick it. I'm going to stick it. Uh, now, strikers. Now, you've got, like I said, James Forrest, Kevin Nisbet, Lyndon Dykes, and Shea Adams. Now, Forrest is going to play on that, the right hand side. Striker, it's got to be Shea Adams. He's definitely stepped up in the, like the, the games, the World Cup qualifier. In the friendly games back in March, he was excellent. And if you watched a watch on back in the videos, he was great. Um, great one. Now, I think Kevin Nisbet, I really do. He was really, really good against the Netherlands. He, he scored a good goal, in fact, um, against the Netherlands on Wednesday night. It was the second goal of the night. It was really nice. Really nice cross play from Andy Robertson into Nesbitt. And it was a nice wee finish. Um, and I think he will start for the first game of the news. That, that is my predicted team. It might not be yours, but for example, you could, I mean, you could pick anyone. You may put Patterson there, but for me, you know, you could put Liam Cooper there, Stephen O'Donnell, you can put O'Donnell there. Um, but yeah, guys, thanks for watching. I mean, I mean, you could put them there, but I don't think he will start. That's the problem I'm trying to say. Like that. That's the thing I'm trying to say, you guys. Um, so. I think Hendry will start. I don't know if he will, but after that performance, I might might know. But I don't know. What I mean, yeah, I'll go Jack Hendry. So that is my predicted team um, for Scotland starting eleven at the Euros um, a week on Monday. That coming week Monday, um, Scotland will play in the Czech Republic. In the first game of the Euros, since, uh, first big competition since in uh, 23 years, something like that. Um, that is my predicted lineup, guys, for the starting 11. Um, thanks for watching, guys. For subscribe and like. Um, again, as I said, the materials video probably out by now. Um, it's only my opinion. You can suggest, guys, and more. What's your starting 11 for the first game of the Euros? What's your starting? You know what I mean? Uh, would you what would you change? Would you change goalkeeper? Maybe defenders or and what would you change? Comment down below, guys. As I said, it's a game like, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.